Hi, I'm Tony Jackson with RVP Chemical Technology, Director of Sales for the Electronics Division. I'm here today at a customer site. Uh, we're going to be doing a little tutorial with Jignesh Patel, our Technical Service Specialist, on cross-sectioning. Uh, the reason behind cross-sectioning is uh, if, if the, a board has been visually inspected or it has been electrically tested, there can be some type of electronic connection failure. So what we have to do is physically uh, break down the board, take a punched out coupon and look at the plating integrity in the barrel of the, uh, the hole in the circuit board to make sure we see exactly what's going on. If it was a drilling issue, if it was a uh, electroless copper or a direct metallization issue, or an acid copper plating issue, or some type of uh, imperfection in the plating. So we're going to go through the steps and kind of show you how this process works. So for cross-section, step one. Whichever hole you want to cross-section, there's two ways you can cut the coupon out. You can rub the coupon in the router machine, or you can punch the coupon on the finished board. Wherever you want to cross-section, whichever hole you want to cross-section, you can just punch a coupon. Make sure the holes are away from the edges, so when you grind it, the holes are not destructive. So here's the coupon that we punched from the panel. Now we know we want to cross sections the holes like about one tenth of an inch or maybe maybe less uh, from the edge. So first thing what we do is we have a mounting clip. Make sure the coupon sits flat like that. And then we just put that coupon into the mounting cup. And here's a two um, acrylic powder and then uh, the quick liquids that we mix together and make a paste. And then we just pour paste into this mounting cup. You mix it well, make sure there's no air bubble. Now the, the paste is ready and you can see it's not thick, but it's not thin as well. You want to make it thinner so the, the epoxy can travel or get in, into the hole. So now we just pour that mixed into this mounting cup. And let it sit for about a half an hour. So once the puck is dry, after about 20 to 25 minutes, you just remove it from the mounting cup. It's a rubber mounting cup, so it's, it's easy to take it out. So now the puck is ready to grind and polish. So what we do here on the grinder, so we have a different grids. So we start from P20, 400, 600, 800, and 1200. So basically this is the machine. So you got a water and you got a spinner. So technically you take the puck. Your target is always to get in the middle of the hole by different grinding. So at the 1200 last grinding, the hole has to be in the middle. So, you know, the barrel has to be cut in uh, halfway. So you can fully view on, these, uh, on the microscope and you can see uh, the copper plating and other anomalies in the barrel. So once the puck is, uh, the grinding is done and the polishing is done, then we just put it under the microscope and you can view it at different zoom level. You can view the full barrel at 5 map, uh, 50 uh, magnifications, or 100 magnifications, or 400 magnifications. So this is how it looks. And when you have the sections, you can do a multiple measurements. You can check the copper thickness in the hole. You can check the inner layer copper thickness in the hole. You can check the dielectric of the uh, uh, of the board, you know, between the two layers, the overall dielectric thickness of the board. So you can take a lot of measurements. And you can also see if there is any anomalies you find 
uh, with the higher zoom. So if you go into the barrel, you want to see how your inner connects are. You want to see how your knees and you also want to see the copper thickness throughout the barrel to make sure it's even and smooth. So that's the whole a process of cross-sectioning and viewing the hole or viewing the barrel inside and look at the copper platings, uh, the process. Some of the pictures are right here, uh, which were taken from cross-section. All right, Jignesh, thank you so much for depicting all that information for the cross-sectioning procedure. We really appreciate it. We hope you really enjoyed this tutorial on cross-sectioning for circuit board manufacturing. Any additional detail you'd like, you can check our website, www.rbpchemical.com.